Right, going to show you how to make fat blocks from your waste vegetable oil remnants. That's after you've filtered your waste vegetable oil, you're left with some gloop. All you need is some newspapers. Start with putting your newspapers long ways, then overlap them horizontally. Add some sawdust, or in this case, some shavings from our chainsaw. Grab a handful of the uh, of the oil. A little bit more sawdust. Fold over from the corners. And then scrunch them up with a tight. And do the same again. for the better. In my case I'm using a good old palm leaf. Climb up real tight. On fat log. Right. These are the fat blocks we made. All the fat blocks. Last approximately an hour and provide excellent heat. Mm -hmm. This is the remains of the fat block earlier, as you can see. It's left a nice bed of ashes. And there's still a little bit of life left in it, and that's burned for one hour. There's the sawdust in the middle that we that we placed inside. And we just pop in the new fat block, close the doors, and we're good for another hour. When you make your fat logs, um, you can add an extra bit of sawdust. So you put your sawdust in, you put your fat on top of the sawdust, then you add more sawdust and then roll the newspapers up as shown in the video and this will give you a longer burn. Before you put your log in the fire what you need to do is to burn, uh, burn some wood first to build up some ash in the pan and then if any of the fat leaks into the ash pan it will act as a wick and that will increase the burn as well. Not bad for free heat. <laughs> 